Nearly every woman carries a handbag, but trying to figure out what handbag to buy and what handbag to carry can sometimes feel overwhelming because there are so many variables and so many options. I'm going to share two tips today to make that all a little bit easier. One of the most important tips is where should your handbag end? Where should the lowest part of your handbag be if you're wearing a shoulder bag? And generally speaking, you want it to end at the slimmest part of your body. So for instance, for somebody who is hourglass shaped or pear shaped so that your waist goes in and then you're a little bit fuller in the hip line, you want it to end right at the waist, at the top of the hip, at the right in that waist area where it's slimmer. What you don't want to have happen is have it come down here where it just adds width to this part of the body. If you're somebody who carries a little more width in the midsection or you are an inverted triangle shape, so you're broader at the shoulders and narrower, narrower as you go down, then you, then you do want your handbag to end down a little bit lower because your hips are going to be the narrower part of your body. So this is a handbag that I love and it does end at my hip line. However, it's a very slim handbag, so the only way I would ever carry one that ends at the hip line is if it's very narrow like this. You don't want a big wide handbag that's going to add extra width right there. The next question is, how big, how wide should your handbag be? And I learned a very cool tip from a colleague of mine, Nancy Goldblatt from Wardrobe Wizard. And she says that if you put your thumbs together and spread your hands all the way out, that the handbag should be no wider than from here to here. So as you can see with this handbag, it's, it's very close to the width of my hand, so it's well within the perfect range for me. And I find that that works really nicely for women in terms of how to find a length that isn't overwhelming or isn't too small. One other quick thing, you do want to think about proportion when you're choosing the size of your handbag. So if you're somebody who's petite, you don't want to get one of those big giant handbags that are so popular right now because you will look, um, it'll make you look smaller in comparison. And if you're somebody who's plus size or tall or both, you don't want to get a little tiny handbag because it'll make you look larger in comparison. So you want to make sure that the handbag is in the right size for you and using this tip will help with that a lot. So go get one of your handbags and put it on and see if it falls in the right place for your body and see if the width is what it should be to balance your body and feel really great when you're wearing it.